why you need to create a customer profile. Hello, it's John. It's the Marketing for Owners podcast coming to you from the French Alps. Yes, they still have snow in April. Everybody, did you not realize you can go skiing in April? There's not many people here and it is baking hot. For those of you that are watching on video, you can see behind the Arkebool uh, chairlift, which goes from Arc 2000 up to, well, a bit higher. Um, I am at Les Arc, which is uh, up from Bourg Saint Maurice in the French Alps, and it is glorious. We're actually staying in La Plagne, which is across the, uh, the double decker Vanoise Express cable car. I don't know if anyone else has got a double decker cable car in the world. It's pretty cool. But there's not much snow over there. Must be facing a different way. Anyway, one of the reasons I want to talk to you about customer profiles is because this month in April, we've been concentrating on the who of the five questions. Who are we doing this with? And it is an essential step. We need to know who we are marketing to. And I actually call it doing it with because we don't do anything to people, really. We do things with people. We build relationships. In 2017, that's the way it works. It's not like the old days where you just advertise at people. And, and that's the way it was. In fact, the way it was. That's the way it still is for car companies and many of, uh, many of the big ones. They just have to put ads everywhere to uh, keep their aura up there and try and outspend everyone else. But for us, it's different. We need to save our money. And that's why we need to know our perfect customer because there are if look at all these people on that chairlift sorry for anyone who's uh, not watching this on video if you want to see the video by the way uh, just go to marketingforowners.com uh, slash podcast slash 626 I think is that the number but anyway slash podcast they're all there all the videos you can go see all the others and see that I really am here in the Alps you can probably hear the chairlift in the background but all those people are going past um, say, for instance, you were selling, let me think, say you're selling speciality teas. Uh, a lot of people are buying nice kind of uh, flashy uh, teas these days, and you may want to sell them online. Now, you are going to want to know who your perfect customer is. So, for example, I, I don't know the demographics, but I'm going to guess that it's not so popular with the young people. And so what's the point? of advertising to them. I'm going to guess that speciality teas cost more, so they're a luxury purchase. Therefore, you need people with a certain level of income, a certain comfort, maybe the middle classes, as, uh, if that still exists. You need to know who it is. Now, who does the shopping for the home? Is this something that's going to be a regular purchase uh, for someone who's well off, who buys them all the time from you? That, so is that, is that the man of the house? Is that the woman of the house? Now, this is not a sexist comment. It's just a fact. You need to find out. It could be either. I, I'm not judging. I don't know. Um, so you need to find out. And you need to know who they are so you can price accordingly. You might find that there's another demographic within, or you might have a particular customer profile that covers half your uh, purchases and then another one that covers 20% that might be able to afford a luxury level. The same thing, but about 30 or 50% more expensive. You might be able to do that. And these are the reasons why you need to know. The other one is, where do you advertise? So for instance, if you are advertising uh, in, uh, say in the food or drinks or travel market, um, then you wanna be on Pinterest. And the chances are, therefore, that a strong demographic is, is women. Now, if you are um, in other ones, you might, if it's in a younger one, you might need to be on Snapchat. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, and, and others, you need to know. So go back to Fri uh, not Friday's, Thursday's episode of last week where I showed you how to build that customer profile in just 15 minutes. It's not hard. It doesn't take a lot of work. Now, another reason why you need to have these is when you're talking because the way things work, so remember, we have a presence, our website. We have our profiles, our social media profiles. When, then we have the, uh, the 
potential, which is what we're talking about now, the customer profiles, customer persona, avatar, whatever you want to call it. From there, we go on to permission, where we do lead capture, lead generation, and we get them onto a list. And then we start to build a relationship. And the way we build that is by talking to them via email. Now, yes, you're going to be blogging or updating your web, uh, your uh, website with current information. Yes, you're going to be using social media, but I can tell you that the secret to selling online is email. I don't care what people say about email is dead. It isn't being said by the people who are selling lots and lots of stuff online. It's as simple as that. When that's where the relationship is built and that's where it's going to work. If you think, oh no, it's all spam, and then you're thinking of it wrong. Why would you want your emails to seem like spam? Because you're only going to send them to people who are in your cust target customer profile, so they're appropriate. But if you know that it's a woman, say, for instance, go back to the T's. If you, say, if you know it's a woman and she's maybe in her late 40s, mid 40s, then when you email and when you send a message or when you do something on social media, you're going to casually say, you might mention, oh, there you are, sitting back, relaxing with a, um, with a Bacardi and Coke, uh, reading the latest um, Harold Robbins novel. I don't know. Um, if they're a younger audience, you might then say, read, uh, change the drink, obviously. You might be a, have a Jägermeister in it. And they, they might be reading the latest Suzanne Collins. Is that the Hunger Games woman? Um, if it's a man, he might be drinking a cool a beer and he might be reading a James Patterson or James Clancy novel. Do you see what I mean when you're talking to them like a friend? And that is what it's all about. That is why this is important because if you don't know, oh sorry just got to watch this guy go past telemark skiing. That's impressive. Very impressive. Sorry if you're not a skier. <laughs> um, so that is what it's all about. That is the essence of it. Anyway, I'll leave it there. I've discussed it to death. If you haven't got it by now, that, that the reason you need this, this is the most important part of marketing, not your website, not your, not your social media. Just a trick, by the way, social media, you have to have it. It won't do much for you. Don't concentrate over there. <clears throat> um, it's not referrals. It's not even conversions. It's having that target customer in the first place. Okay, because then you know where, if you're going to pay to advertise, you know where to spend it. Um, if, it's, if it's for women, you're not going to advertise in men's magazines, are you? Etc. And you'd be, or wherever else, you know? Don't waste your money. Anyway, end of that. You can read anything else or contact me. Because this is the thing. What I'm trying to do is, is help you make your business life easier. Help, it, help your, cut your hours by getting more people coming to you as leads and increase your profits by having a better chance of converting them into clients and good clients as well. By the way, I'm moving around because I'm standing on quite a steep slope. It's quite tricky. I'm tied onto uh, a red pole on a red slope at the edge facing downhill. Um, and this is why we have the Owners Club. The Owners Club is where I show you how to do things like that. The Owners Club, it only costs £29 a month. It's about $35. It's good. It's a full money back guarantee from me. Yeah, me, John. If you don't like it, if you think it's rubbish, then just send an email. You don't have to speak to me. It doesn't matter. We'll still be friends. There's a couple of, we've had a couple of people leave. It's no big deal. I'm still mates with them. Just tell me you get your money back. I don't, and not just a portion. I'll give you all back, all of it. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to tell you something that's not suitable. You've got to try it. If you want to know, I don't do sales calls, by the way, but if you want to test me and see what I can do to help you specifically in your business, then try me at marketingforowners.com slash free time, where you can get a half hour call with me, no obligation. I will not try to sell you anything. If you want to ask about it, then fine. I won't try to sell you anything. Just challenge me, uh, give me something, and I will help you fix it. Okay. It is a Monday, it's time for Book for the Week, and on my drive down, it's a, it is a 600 mile, and, and almost to the mile, a 600 mile journey for us to drive down here, and I have to drive all the way, because RV17, you haven't passed this test. I listened to another couple of books again, one of which was, is by Dan Priestley, Daniel Priestley. It is called Oversubscribed. 
it is great. The reason I listened to it again on Audible, that was, I couldn't read, about, read it, is because it's that good, I wanted it to sink in a bit more. And some of the things we're applying to a new business I'm starting in July with my son, Harvey, who's over there. Hi, Harvey. Yep, he is waving back, <laughs> honestly. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back for some more. Another couple of days here on a slope. I'll be back, so enjoy it where you are, and I'm off to ski down there. See you soon.